An Indiana man is lucky to be alive after being left for dead on the side of the road. He was riding his bike Sunday when a car hit him from behind. Now, we should warn you, his injuries are graphic. That cyclist spoke to CBS4's Mike Sullivan about his recovery and the memory loss he's dealing with after that hit and run. It's a moment in time wiped from memory. I don't remember nothing. All I remember is this. Waking up in the hospital, confused, his mind feeling. Nothing really. His body most certainly in pain. When I walked in and saw him, I thought he was dead. Jerry Carr went for a long bike ride Sunday night. I had a jacket on, a highway jacket with reflectors on and everything where they could see me. He was approaching this bend on Holt Road just after Ridenour Park. It's really dark. There's no, no lights. There's nowhere to get over on it or nothing. That's where it all went dark. And he woke up and asked me what happened, and I told him he got hit by a car. His wife, Angela, had no idea. They went up in the grass and then out back, back, back out to the street. The driver fled the scene. He left about 11.30 at night, and we had a GPS on the phone with each other. His tracker was going from hospital to hospital, spent most of the night at small claims court. I think what happened was he dropped his phone in the ambulance when he got dropped off. Frantically, Angela began calling area hospitals and jails. We go by and seen the bike, and that's when I really flipped out. I thought he was dead somewhere. Eventually, she discovered Jerry's location. So I asked the nurse, when is he going to die? Thankfully, Jerry was alive, barely. My ear has been cut off and sewed back on. His skull is fractured, his vertebrae damaged. They're staying in place with that brace on. Why did they stop? Police reports show a red mirror cap was found at the scene. Why did they stop? I'm human. You know, I, I would stop if I had somebody to see if they was all right. These are only a few of many questions this family needs your help to answer. In the West Side, I'm Mike Sullivan, CBS 4 News. Mike, thank you. The Carr family is hoping that someone may have caught the vehicle on a surveillance camera. If you live near Holt and Cosell Road, please check any video that you might have from late Sunday night.